1993, Radiohead wasn't an amazing band. They were a weird alt-rock outfit with this hit song fittingly called Creep, and they were unprepared for the rock star fame it would bring them. So when they were invited to play on MTV, what resulted was one of the most chaotic concerts in televised history, one that lead singer Tom York was lucky to get out of alive. This is the story of Anyone Can Play Guitar live at the MTV Beach House, of a new and immature band's wrestle with fame, of a moment in Radiohead's career that will forever live in infamy. Believe it or not, there was a time when Creep was not Radiohead's most popular song. It didn't break the UK's top 40 when it was first released in 1992, and BBC Radio refused to play it because it was too depressing. Bet Radiohead never got tired of hearing that. But their second single, Anyone Can Play Guitar, released February 1st, 1993, did reach number 32 on the charts. The band seemed to advertise it rather proudly. Ha ha ha. Music that doesn't suck. And as this ad suggests, it even had its own music video. Anyone Can Play Guitar was early Radiohead at their noisiest. True to its name, everyone in the studio, including the cook, was given a guitar, and Johnny used a paintbrush on his part. Its performances were known for being even more chaotic, with Tom and Johnny practically destroying their instruments towards the end. Yet none of this could have prepared for what would ensue in a matter of mere months. As fate would have it, soon after releasing a song mocking the idea of earning fame by becoming a rock star, Radiohead would be blasted into rock stardom by an Israeli DJ playing Creep on repeat, making the song climb charts in Israel and soon worldwide. Places all across the world suddenly wanted Radiohead to play, and their concerts were booked and sold out. Among these was a little channel called MTV, which that summer had moved to a nine-room house in the Hamptons of Long Island, New York. The hour-long show MTV Beach House would get refined over the course of a decade, eventually having guests such as Beyonce and becoming a paragon of youth-directed marketing. But in 1993, it had just debuted, and the producers decided that the best music for a bunch of smiling college students at a pool party was a sad British man groaning about being a creep and a weirdo. On a sweltering 4th of July, Radiohead arrived at the beach house to perform Creep. The production staff asked them beforehand to play an additional song, Anyone Can Play Guitar, but the band refused. They had to play Creep around four times to get all the camera angles, and Tom was getting increasingly annoyed with Kennedy, the presenter. Hey, stick around, we've got Radiohead performing their big song, Creep, their buzz clip, and right now, uh, actually coming up, we've got a Red Hot Chili Peppers video, so stick around. Thanks, Ed. To be fair, I'd be pretty annoyed too if they interrupted me to play the Red Hot Chili Peppers. On top of all that, this was a Tom that was wrestling with his newfound fame. Apparently, it inflated his ego and he was known for being rather short-tempered and unpleasant at the time. But perhaps the greatest, most painful irony for him was that at that moment Radiohead had become exactly what they made fun of. Famous rock stars standing on the beach with their guitars. This culminated in a completely unplanned, spur-of-the-moment decision. When the cameras shut down for Creep, the band suddenly began playing Anyone Can Play Guitar, to the delight of the production staff. Cameras were hastily flipped on again, and thus began one of the finest moments in music history. Tom continues his feud with Jim Morrison. Johnny almost destroys his guitar as usual, and the band experiments with screamo vocals. Most famously, Tom jumped into the pool in a fit of rage. This was a problem for two reasons. First, Tom's heavy Doc Martens made it hard to stay afloat. Second, as the first thing he tried to grab onto was a live microphone, there was a high risk of electrocution. Thankfully, destiny protected him from the world that day, and Tom did not go to join a band in heaven. Two production assistants saw Tom struggling and pulled him safely out of the pool while the band played on, seemingly oblivious. You can read a detailed first-hand account on this website, which I'll link in the description. After that, the producers decided to call it a day, and that was the end of Radiohead's time at the MTV Beach House. Anyone Can Play Guitar fell out of favor with the band as they shifted their gears towards OK Computer, and the song stopped being played live after 1996. As a result, 
To this day, the legendary performance at the Beach House is the first thing many fans associate with the song. It doesn't help that Radiohead has removed the official music video for Anyone Can Play Guitar from YouTube, along with other Pablo Honey videos such as Stop Whispering and a little ditty known as Pop Is Dead. This makes the MTV Beach House one of the few remaining relics of early Radiohead on the site. In fact, it's almost as if the band is proud of this performance, since they would rather have people watch it than the carefully produced music videos their record label advertised. Wait, what's this? To become a Radiohead, write to Capitol Records care of I wanna be a creep 1750 North Line Street T12 Hollywood, California. Dear Pablo Honey, how do you? I hope I don't come off as a creep, but it has always been my dream to become a Radiohead. So when I saw your ad, I thought to myself, this is your chance to prove yourself. Don't let it blow out. I'm hoping you won't say I can't, even if anyone can play guitar. Thinking about you, William, aka Cloudstime. P.S. I'm afraid I must inform you that Pop is dead.